What's up guys, I'm Steven. This video is a continuation of the stuff that I did while I had a Bantam Tools mill at my disposal. You might remember the last video where I made this guy, a programmer for the Glow Ties. I've been flying through a bunch of Glow Ties lately, gearing up for shipping for the Kickstarter backers. Also did some other stuff with the mill, including make these. Now these are not quite like normal enamel pins in that it's actually not enamel paint, it's Formlabs resin. I didn't have enamel paint, I was too lazy to buy some, and I had Formlabs resin around. I was not sure if it was gonna work because it's really not meant for that, and it actually worked really well. That's not at all what it's for, but you get some really cool pins. Anyway, if you do this on your own, it probably makes sense to use enamel paint, but if you happen to have resin laying around, Give it a try. I had really, really good luck with it and they turned out really good. And then if you just go on Amazon, you can buy these little pin backings. And this is just pretty much a post and the little clippy guy that will let you pin it onto something. You can buy these in bulk on Amazon for super cheap and I just super glued it to the back of them. And there you go. It's like really, really straightforward. The only thing is you do need a CNC machine or something that has a spindle on the end of it to actually mill these out. Otherwise, it's kind of a pain in the butt. My buddy Lucian actually raster burned in pockets into a piece of acrylic and then he put paint in that and he made a super cool pin using that. And then you can probably also just print out a pin with little pockets in it and throw enamel paint in that too. So a CNC machine makes it really easy or like a little mill but there are other ways to make them for sure. All right, it is now time to make a bunch of butterfly pins. Here we go. so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in the next one. Yes.